Hi everyone, this is generally speaking. Um, um, I'm from Team Shenanigan and right now I'm on my very first Greyhound bus ride and traveling from the Ocala Greyhound bus station. Um, heading over to Sarasota as my final Greyhound destination and it will take three Greyhound buses going from Orlando to Sarasota but really my final destination is in Venice where um, my godfather who I call Uncle Bob lives my godfather being one of my dad's best friends from high school and And while it will be um, an almost six hour ride, it'll all be worth it. I'll be spending two nights um, in Venice. Um, like, it'll be exciting. Still a little sick, but better at the same time. Like, not sick, sick, just allergies. Um, And so along the way, I'd probably be doing a mixture of listening to music, eating snacks, possibly reading books. Thank God they have a charger port here to charge my phone, so um, so that I have plenty of battery while I'm um, battery life while I'm on this ride. And like, of course, um, definitely not my first bus ride, but first Greyhound, like I said. Signing off. Hope you all have a good day. Goodbye, everybody. This is generally from Team Shenanigans. And this is Uncle Bob, Aunt Colleen, and... Abby. Yep, she's one of the belly dancers. And... Comas, Florida, and over here where that sunset is, that's the Gulf of, that beach is the Gulf of Mexico, so now I can officially say I've been farther south than I've ever been in my life, um, like I haven't been south of Orlando before now, um, so I got off the Greyhound bus in Sarasota, and Uncle Bob and Aunt Collie live in Venice. Uncle Bob's my godfather, as well as one of my subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> um, I guess I will be now too. Um, and he was also one of my dad's best friends from high school. Uh, well, and he moved to Florida how many years ago? and then taking the Greyhound to Orlando um, to get a hotel with my Aunt Kathy, her friend Vernon, and also called me, and of course her dog Rover. Um, and, yep. at the drum circle, they like to come. And hula hooping here, very talented. And beautiful sunset turning into
the dark, but um, I, was, but I did get some pictures of the sunset earlier today. Um, like the beach water here is lighter than um, beach water I'm familiar with at home. Like, like I got my feet in the water for a little bit, and Uncle Bob and Aunt Colleen put their feet in the water as well. <laughs> So funny. What do you think of it? Fun. And, and they're very talented here. Or, and, yep. And everybody's very friendly in this town. And, and met many new faces names like more than I can remember or like I'm probably not gonna remember half the names here but I remember there are a lot of people named Sandra see the point the point where Um, like, my aunt lives in, my aunt Kathy lives in Ocala, while you guys live in, Uncle Bob and Aunt Collie live in Venice, and, um, my grandparents have property in both Atco and Spring Hill, um, and, let's see, um, and, my friend Mike has um, lives in Sebastian, and and it's like tell any one of them about any of the towns that other people live in. Likely they won't have a clue, but they'll know where the major cities are. <laughs> yep. Uh, like. Yes, I am. Thank you. Oh, and this, and I got a picture taken in front of the sunset as well. Um, oh, and and I had no idea that I was um, visiting the Gulf of Mexico today. Oh, you didn't realize you were going to? Yeah, um, it's like, but then again, I never really know, um, 
never really have an itinerary for a vacation until I'm there. There you go. That's the way to do it. Because right, I cannot stand having to plan every little thing out two weeks in advance or even and it one week. Works out when you do that. Yeah. People like that can be extremely difficult. Uh, to, because Thank they. You for not being mm -hmm. <laughs> no problem. Um, uh huh. Because people like that um, obsess too much over things going smoothly. Um, are we? Do we see any palm trees here? Um. Yeah, not so. Yeah, there's, I think there's some uh, palmettos in the parking lot. Right now. Palmettos, cool. You'll have to bring her out to my work when you can see all the palm trees out there. Cool. I, uh, then, um, maybe tomorrow could film palm, film palm trees as long as there's people. Well, more so, you guys. See you later, Renee. Bye. Bye. Nice you. you too. Yeah. Uh, and will you please hold on to the camera more, like, as we say goodbye? <laughs> I'm in there. <laughs> well, bye. bye. This is Jenna Lee. This is Fox. Uh, uh, Goddaughter. Like, uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey. I'm Wyatt. Uh, you, uh, what, what's your name again? Mike. Mike. <laughs> Hey guys. Take care. Bye. Hey, so um, as you can, as you YouTube watchers can see, um, I can be good with faces, but um, when it comes to meeting a lot of people, like it can take three times to get even one person's name straight, or I may come back home not remembering even half of the names. That's fine. But. Yeah. <laughs> I, just... I come here a lot and I don't remember names, so. Yep, so I guess it's normal. Yes, it is. It is normal. Well, um, uh, for even people who are good with names, um, it's, it's not like a Mr. Gru from Despicable Me who has like 900 employees and remembers every single one of them by name. <coughs> uh, well, really, um, Pierre Coffin did the voice of 899 Minions. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. So all the Minions pretty much have the same voice, but um, so it must take a lot of skill to get um, to make the effect of the same person voicing all of them in unison. Yes. And so it must be trick photography. Oh, there's some palm trees, but it's getting dark. Yep. These are sable palms, also known as cabbage. They are cool. The, they are the state trees. And so, about to sign off here because we are about to get in the car. But I'll see you next time. Bye.